Well, you know what they say. If you can't stand the heat, get out of the dojo. Hey, what's up, my peoples? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Nin Ninja Ninja Geki Atsuto. So here we are, and there it is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right here, you have the Ninja Geki Atsuto. There you have Aka Ninja, Star Ninja. You have the rest of the Nin Ninjas right there. On this side, you got Aka Ninja there with the Ninja Geki Atsuto. On the other side, you got Aka Ninja again. On the bottom, you have all six of the nin ninjas. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots. It does this, that, the other. You got Takaharu, you got Kenji going on there. And you got Sir Pac-Man! He still hasn't found his contact lens. I feel so bad for him. That's basically it for the packaging. So, moving right along, here we have the Ninja Geki Atsuto. And as you can see, it is just a, uh, a red version of the Ninja Ichibanto. Um, but still really, really cool, though, because pretty much all the noises that come out of this are new. It's all new noises, and uh, I really, really appreciate that. So, we'll get in close here so you can see some of the details. Again, it's just a red version of the... Uh, of the Ichibanto, so there's not a whole lot different going on, just some minor cosmetic differences. I mean, obviously, all of it being red is a major cosmetic difference, but we'll bring in the uh, Ichibanto here. And you can see here that one thing that is different is the uh, the characters on the blade itself, where I believe this says Ninja Ichibanto, here this says Ninja Gekiats, I believe, don't quote me on that, but I believe so. And uh, these buttons right here are different. The characters are different. I don't know exactly what they say, but the characters are different on the Gekiatsuto as opposed to the Ichibanto. And the design right here on the handle is different here. You just have the flames. And here you have this little, uh, this nice little blue pattern here with the Ninja logo and some flames because it's all Gekiats. It's all mega super hot, whatever it means. So <laughs> there you go. But other than that, um, everything else... Is exactly the same. You have your release buttons right here to release the shuriken. Um, you have your battery compartment right there, your speaker right there. So, of course, again, just like the Ichibanto, when you're holding this, you want to make sure you're not actually, you, you don't have your hand over the speaker, otherwise, you're not going to hear anything. So, you want to make sure that that speaker is always in the open there when you're holding it. Of course, I have small hands, so that's easy for me. Somebody with bigger hands, that might be a little more difficult to do, but. There you have that. So there is the Gekiat store itself, but let us take a look at the included shuriken. Here is the Shio, the Shio Kyokunin shuriken. I have no idea if I said that right, but hey, I'm, I do my best. <laughs> Again, I'm a Puerto Rican from Philly, okay? This ain't my first language, all right? <laughs> so here is the Shio, the Shio Kyokunin shuriken. Just bear with me. But anyway, done in a nice gold plastic right here. And apparently it translates to the end of Shuriken. And uh, this Shuriken was obtained in, uh, was it the last episode? Yeah, I think it was the, the, the last, as of this recording, I think it was the last episode where they obtained the Shuriken. And this is when they were thrown into that RPG game, which was actually kind of a funny episode. So there you have the Shuriken core itself with the Ninja logo and the various color flames right there. Of course, you have Sad Pac-Man just molded in shame there forever. You got the button there to activate your noises. And there you have that. And here is the Shuriken blade, which, as you can see, has all six of the Ninja's symbols right there, which is pretty cool. Um... I like the I like the gray plastic they use because even the gray plastic looks silver, and I really I really appreciate that. It just makes it look really nice. It doesn't. It's just not this like flat gray plastic that a lot of other toy companies use. It does have a nice sheen to it and does give it you know a nice uh, uh, a nice silver tone, which I I do very much appreciate. I wish more toy companies use this kind of plastic because it looks a lot better than just the unpainted flat gray plastic. But um, there you have that, and of course you just take. The shuriken blade, you know, line up those tabs, plug it into the core, and then lock it into place. 
And he says, Shokyokunin Shuriken, right there. And of course, it's now locked in place. If you want to release it, you have to push the red button right there. And you get your disengaging noise. So. Shokyokunin Shuriken. Now you have your red button in the back, and that will activate uh, attack noises. And you will get six different attack noises. So you have your six attack noises, and then it just cycles right back. It cycles right back to up, but you send. Now there is this little black button right here, and that's basically a reset button. So if you ever want to start from the beginning without having to cycle through them all, you just push this, you know, if we go through a couple... So if you just push the little black button right here, it'll cycle right back to... Shut up. So there we go. So that's how you get it to start right from the beginning again if you don't want to just cycle through all the noises. Just push that little black button in the back. So there you go. There you have the Shokyokunin Shuriken. So now we will bring in the Ichibanto and get down to all the noises that this makes. So you just turn it on right there. And you get... The standard activation noise, and you just pull the trigger, and you get your slashing noise. You get two separate slashing noises right there. Now you do get voice clips in this uh, in this sword, which is really cool. So to activate the voice clips, you want to push this button twice. So push it once, push it again. So Takaharu. So now we will hear some clips from Takaharu or Aka Ninja. So pull the trigger. You get that. And then it's followed by a couple slashing noises. Get that one. You get that. I don't have translations for that, unfortunately. I'm sorry, but there you have that. So those are the three uh, voice clips you get from Takaharu, and then you push the button again. And now you have Kenji, or Star Ninja, and you'll get three separate voice clips from him. You get that. Again, followed by some, uh, some uh, slashing noises. That one. Let me get that one. So there you go. That's cool. You get some some voice clips from the actors. So I really do like that. So now we will get into the other noises here. So now we need our shuriken. So we'll plug it in to the gekiatsu and push the top button here. Then give it a spin. So right there it just says Gekiats! And you get a little explosion sound. Now if you spin it again... You get Cho Gekiats! And if you spin it again... You get Cho Cho Gekiat, and if you spin it one more time, so you can get up to Cho 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 Gekiat, which is pretty cool. 
So now we have our attack button right here. Push that. One second. Okay. Thank you for spin. Sorry. Pull the trigger. And of course, you can cycle through all the other attacks that same way. So, one more thing that you can get is if you push the yellow button. You get that standby noise. Then you give it a spin. That's just beautiful. <laughs> I think that's my favorite noise. I'm going to do it again just because. <laughs> and now I feel uplifted. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's basically... It. Of course, you can use your other shurikens in this sword. You can use the Shiokyukonin shuriken in the Ichibanto if you want. They are, you know, obviously they're cross compatible. The noises may not match up perf perfectly, but you know, you can use them in either sword if you want. And um, let's disengage that. You can use the uh, the Chosets changer on it if you want. Also, oops, let me turn it on first. So, that is also compatible with the Gekiatsu right there. So again, as always, just, you know, squeeze your two buttons right here to disengage the shuriken. Right there. So, yeah. Um, and that's pretty much it. That's all it does. But, um, yeah, I, I, I do like this. At first, when, when I first saw the pictures of this, I was just like, oh, okay, they just repainted the Ichibanto red. All right. Does it do anything new, though? Like, at first I was thinking, oh, okay, the only thing you're going to get new is the shuriken, and this is just going to be the same toy, just in red. But no, you get co all all new noises out of this. Like, I don't even think the slashing noises are the same as the Ichibanto. I don't think. Hold on, let me turn this. Let me see something here. Uh... No? To me, they sound different. I could be wrong, but to me, this, even the slashing noises sound different. I, I could just be hearing it wrong, but um, yeah, to me, it even sounds like the slashing noises are different. So, you know, that's really cool that it's not just a red Ichibanto and the only new noises you're getting are out of the shuriken. You're getting all new noises out of this, and even the voice clips are really cool. So I think it's definitely worth it. Um, You know, this this costs the exact same price as the Ichibanto, so they're not charging you any more for it. It's the exact same price. But it's really cool, like I said, because you are getting totally new noises out of this, and I really, really do appreciate that. So there you go, and I can't stand this up. It can't stand on its own, so I'm going to have to lay this down. <laughs> None of it will stand on its own. There we go. There you go. But there you have the Ninja Gekiatsu. Now, I picked this up from uh, Hobby Link Japan, HLJ, so you can check them out if you're interested in this or any other Ninja merchandise. You can also check out BigBadToyStore.com because they do carry the mechs if you're interested in those. So you can check them out. Link in the description down below as well. You can also check out my Ninja playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And, of course, there are always the other methods that I always 
suggest as far as picking up stuff like this, which is, you know, uh, Ami Ami, Hobby Search, Mandarake, CS Toys, lots of places that specialize in tokusatsu stuff if you're interested in it. Of course, again, there's always eBay, uh, Amazon, but for stuff like this, I don't really go to them too often because they like to kind of jack up the prices a bit, so... You know, totally up to you which avenue you want to take for obtaining obtaining uh, stuff like this if you're interested in it. Totally up to you. But there you have that, and I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Nin Ninja Ninja Gekiatsu, and this is M Go saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud. Pull me in your face.